our other top story, Kings fans feeling a little uneasy right now as the team gets ready for game five at the G1C. Big question looming over that game. Will De'Aaron Fox play? He has broken his uh, index finger on his left shooting hand. That's according to sources close with the Kings. And right now it's unclear if he will play in game five. To give us more perspective on this, Carmichael Day from Sacktown Sports 1140 joins us live. I know a lot of people are worried about this, but he's not completely ruled out for Wednesday's game. Game, right, Dave? No, Lisa, he's not. And if I, I, I don't want to put any words in anyone's mouth. If he can play, he's going to play. This training staff has been phenomenal all year. And I'll keep knocking on wood. This team has been by far the least injured team in the NBA. It was bound to bite him. It bit him. But if he can play through this, I guarantee you he'll be out there Wednesday. A lot of fans are feeling a little devastated, a little sick by this news. But even if he doesn't play, we've got a deep bench. All hope should not be lost. No, all hope shouldn't be lost. Listen, Steph Curry and De'Aaron Fox have been going punch for punch this series. And the Kings are going to be serious underdogs if De'Aaron Fox doesn't play. However, if he doesn't, Davion Mitchell's going to step in. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a step up on defense. That's number one. Number two, it's going to be a different look. The Warriors have been studying this team all series long. Davion's going to give them a bit of a different look. That's not all going to be good looks, by the way. He doesn't have De'Aaron Fox's offense. But if the other guys can get hot and stay healthy, they've got a shot. Well, and also Davion is able to take Steph off of his game in a way that that De'Aaron hasn't been able to do exactly. Do you know what I mean? I mean, Davion definitely is called off night for a reason. Yeah, it, the, the, the problem there is chasing Steph Curry around for 20 minutes as opposed to for 40 or 41 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, it keeps you quite busy. It's like trying to herd cats. It's not going to happen. They've got a bench, though, like you said, whether it's De'Aaron's former college teammate Malik Monk, Terrence Davis behind them, unfortunately, Matthew Dellavedova, who did check Steph Curry back in the NBA Finals mm -hmm. when he was a little bit younger and playing for the Cavaliers. He's out also uh, with a fractured something in his hand. I forget what. So it, it it is a deep bench. Uh, it is tough. But again, I think if, if I had to bet money one way or the other, and I, I barely do this, and I don't bet when I hunter gambler, I would, I would bet Fox is going to be out there. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And, and so a lot of early anxiety when it comes to his finger. I mean, De'Aaron Fox, of course, one of the biggest stars on the Sacramento Kings. So we all want him to be there. But it's nice to hear that we've got some other options if the case may need that. Absolutely. And and that's the beauty of Mike Brown. And that's the beauty of Monty McNair designing this team. I completely understand where Kings fans are coming from because I'm doing the same thing. It's the proverbial Lucy uh, pulling the football from Charlie Brown. That's what we always say. There's always something. And then they finally get back to the playoffs and they get hit with some bad luck here. It was already a tough enough series, the best first round series in the NBA so far. And you just hope that De'Aaron's somehow able to play through the pain and, and be effective. Or if not... Again, the bench and then other players still have not stepped up this whole season, like like Herder, for example. And maybe this will be the, the, you know, the push they need to step up. We'll have to see on Wednesday. Dave, thank you so much. Again, Game 5 is coming up on Wednesday, 7 p.m. tip-off from the Golden 1 Center.